Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today's challenge is going to be to play as Germany, but every single division that I make has to be a different template. Regular on, historical AI focuses, let's go. Now you might be wondering, why am I not on Iron Man? Am I, am I cheating or something? No, the reason I'm not on Iron Man is that I can go to the console commands, type in weather, and have the game run 10 times smoother. Starting off research with some basic industry and mechanical engineering, and I'm going to grab survivability studies with the extra research stop slot we start out with so I can get better airplanes. Now that looks like a great long-term industry plan. Five on that, five on that, three on that. Don't need these. And I'll just finish up these ships. I do not need your tungsten, Sweden, thank you. You know, everyone's seen historical Germany playthrough. I'm gonna do something a little different, go oppose Hitler, and I think I'll go democratic just for a little bit of flavor. Oh, what's happening to the screen? That is mildly concerning. Spy agency. I reloaded the game and this still hasn't cleared up the map. I'm not sure what's causing this. I've never had this problem before until I started recording right now. So that's, uh, I don't know how to fix that. Well, that appears to have fixed it. And there we go, oppose Hitler and civil war. Can't continue down this path right now, so I'm gonna move over here and get the four-year plan. I'm gonna use my political power to get an army offense expert right now, and then after that, I'll get war economy. I really wanna take as few casualties as possible in this war, but this is, this is quite a lot, already at under, right under 100,000. United Kingdom revisits colonial policy. Just got that event. I clicked out of it too fast though. So that means they're, uh, oh dang, they're not doing Commonwealth ties. All right, so they're, they're going off the rails. So and there's a very high chance that they're gonna be going communist here. That's, that's a big problem because France usually goes communist as well if I don't invade them. So that's, uh, those are, those are two allies I'm not gonna have. Hitler found dead. Good for him. Easy. Nazi leadership captured. Let's hang them. Secure the new state. Time to start making some nonsensical templates. That can be one. Yes, that can also be one. I almost forgot, I need to start making anti-air. I also need to start getting rid of these light tanks, because they suck. This division can be the one. This division can be the two. Once I get enough, enough political power, I'm going to send an attache to Spain so I can start getting some army experience, because I'm going to need a lot of it if I'm going to have every single template be different. And there's number four. Time to reestablish free elections. It's also time to send an attache to Spain. Minus 20% consumer goods. Static warfare, best warfare. There's number seven. Number eight. Obligatory number nine joke. The monarchy compromise. It's become a constitutional monarchy instead of a junta. It's time for number 11, which is just gonna be number 10, but with less support. Almost a year later, we have almost, almost, switched every division to a different division. The monarchy compromise has been completed. We now have this guy, doesn't really do much. We also have this guy now who doesn't really do much either, but you know, he's better than the last guy. I'm gonna get started on a few tanks. Number 13, these templates are starting to look real wacky. Sure, Yugoslavia can have some fighters. They are currently at minus 10% consumer goods. That is a great number. The Great Red Menace. Soon. Free trade. And there's number 15. 14, that should be the last of our current divisions. Switched over, now I gotta start producing new ones. Here's number 16, just one infantry battalion with an engineer. And there's another one. You know, for each of these templates, I've just gone one away from this. So I'll go one away from this, and the next one I'll go one away from that. So this is this is what we started with, and this is this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna stop making new templates for a minute so I can get some XP stored up and build a tank. Design. Actually, scratch that. I'm gonna switch over to Relief of Command as soon as I have enough XP, because that's gonna increase our army experience gain by 25% as opposed to the five that professional officer course does. This is the tank I'm producing right now. It's nowhere near optimal. I'm not gonna keep it around for very long, but I just, I wanna start producing something so I can start stockpiling stuff. I plan to replace this with the medium cannon eventually. I would also like to add sloped armor and maybe get the reliability up with some easy maintenance or wet ammunition storage. I would like to switch over to interweave road wheels, but it's not super necessary. 
I'd like to get the speed up a little bit. Lithuania appears to have declared war on Poland. Yeah, good luck with that. So Britain is not becoming communist, which is good. But they are, in fact, decolonizing, as you can see here. That is a very interesting leader of Guyana. Mobile warfare is a good doctrine. However, I'm not going to go too heavy with tanks. I'm just going to have a few scattered about for the most part. I might have one or two tank divisions, but this doctrine only really helps out tanks. So I'm going to go for superior firepower, which helps pretty much all of my battalions. Turkey delivers an investment portfolio. Well, I will certainly not turn down an investment opportunity. That is going to sting a little bit. However, it's okay because of business stuff. The Central European Alliance. About to put the allies out of business. Now that's a better looking tank. Another investment portfolio. Don't mind if I do. The Central European Alliance has been created. Now we just gotta start getting people into it. We got some time because I still need to construct a whole lot more divisions. So I'm gonna take a, a sidestep over and get air innovations. Here comes the Space Marines. One medium tank. Let's put a Mountaineer on this one, make it a little different. Doing really good on stockpiles right now, so I'm going to put a few more on trucks for logistics, and then I'll put everything else on planes. It would probably be a good idea to mar start making some close air support. However, a lot of these divisions already have some pretty decent firepower to them. This one's got 182 soft attack, so uh, I'm not going to make any. I'm just going to stick with fighters for now. This is the fighter I'm rolling with right now, by the way. I don't know if I showed it already, but this is what I'm rolling with. It's got two heavy machine guns, two armor plates, and then the best Type 1 engine. Menkukuo issues a diplomatic protest. It's all over now. This is such a wonky and stupid looking division. <laughs> Apparently having two tanks in this division is going to make it a tank division, so I'm going to remove one. I want to mention right now that most of these divisions I'm making are bad divisions, and you really shouldn't make them. I'm just making them because, because I have to make every division different. <laughs> Block of infantry. I'd say this is more of a triangle of infantry. Look at that. October of 1939, and we finally have one full army group. I'm going to get synthetic rubber, and then after that, I'm going to continue the political focuses and work towards strike at the source. Currently losing quite a lot of my resources, so I'm going to ease off free trade and go to export focus. Now that is very interesting. That's funny. And look at that. Together we shall defend democracy indeed. We now have all the Scandinavian countries apart from Finland in our faction. And we can get Finland in there with this focus. However, the Soviet Union is going to go to war with them, and I don't feel like I can fight them quite yet. So I'm going to invite them in the faction later. This one can also have a Mountaineer. Why not? It looks like the Finns have given in. Austria joins. Czechoslovakia joins. Awesome. Let's see if we can get Yugoslavia and Romania in here too. Actually, never mind. I think I'm going to invite Poland first instead, just in case the Soviets try to attack them. It could be a very valuable ally. It looks like Austria wants to join us. So if we click this one, then Austria will get uh, annexed by us. However, that's going to put us on a border with Italy. And in testing, they have declared war on me before, and I really just won't have enough divisions to deal with that. So I'm not going to annex them i think i can i think i can get away without them okay so poland has joined the faction and immediately like same second as that happened they declared war on lithuania also they are justifying on them so on the 4th of march 1941 they'll be able to, to glare war which is gonna be good for us because that gives us a good bit of time to prepare. And it also means that they'll be declaring on us, which will make it a defensive war, which means we'll take less of a stability hit. The Soviets declared a war on Finland. Okay, and that, that just bypassed Baltic membership because they also declared war on Estonia. Okay, then. Finnish membership is also in bypass. That's unfortunate. Well, not entirely. That gives me one less front to fight on. This is such a goofy looking division. Nice, ambitious battle plan romania has accepted yugoslavia has expected accepted all right so every single nation so far that could accept has accepted the offer of alliance since these two focuses have been bypassed i can strike at the source anytime i want but i'm gonna let it go until the soviet union declares war on us so then it'll be a defensive war which is better the addition of romania into the alliance is very helpful however it has widen the front a good bit and you know as you might imagine i have very few divisions 
However, it looks like the allies have quite a lot here. And the divisions that I have, most of them do have a good bit of firepower, so I think we're doing all right. Hold on a second. Soviet Union declared war on... That shouldn't happen. Okay, I thought I had four more months before that would happen. That's, um... Huh. Well, here we go, I guess. All right, I'm gonna force deploy these units that are still in the queue. So we'll have a, a, f a few more bodies on the front line. Defeating the Soviet Union with two army groups. Let's see, see if I can do it. There's an open province right here. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Look at that, that's four divisions. Oh, there's, there's two tank divisions in there. They're light tanks, but that's still something. I think I'm gonna make one more division. I wanted to have three army groups by the time I went after the Soviet Union, but I'll just stick with two. And then I'm gonna make one more and it's just gonna be a regular old tank division I can use to make encirclements and whatnot. Belgium has for some reason wanted to join the European Alliance, which is currently at war. So has the So has the Netherlands. Luxembourg hasn't though. Alright, so there's just this gap right here. Uh, let's see. Hungarian bomber. Uh, this doesn't give me anything I want, so no. Honestly, there's not really any focuses left that I really want to take. I guess I'll just get some uh, research boosts or something. Maybe some dockyards, I don't know. Rojan Weirschaft. Look at that. Made it happen again. And here's the war in the sky. Three, two, three. We're losing basically no fighters, and they're basically losing all of theirs. They've got quite a few more than the peers, though, but they're all crappy, so we should be fine. This might be an expensive fighter, but it is remarkably effective. I have never seen this happen when historical is turned on. Good for them, though. I, I, I like that that happened. I'm thinking, since there's just so many divisions from my allies here, I think I can concentrate my forces a little bit. So I'm going to put them all down south try to push there time to align hungary i really don't want to have to deal with them if they decide to do something foolish currently we are taking an enormous amount of casualties right now but that's mostly just because we're just pushing the infantry it appears i've messed up there's six divisions which are similar i'll have to fix that there that's better and took a surprisingly long amount of time while we're so close we can make this happen okay i was wrong all right i think we've pushed enough down here let's push somewhere else let's push up here How's number 16 doing, I wonder? That's the one with this template. Um, uh, let's see, history. Yeah, they're not doing great. It looks like they've lost to nine. They've taken 900 casualties with a, in a division with 1,000 people in it. All right, they're defending pretty well, but it looks like we've got enough firepower. We can just steamroll them for the most part. Somalia has capitulated. What? Okay, the United Kingdom and the Italians are at war. And look at that, we've cut off all of these divisions. This is gonna be nasty. Okay, so I was talking earlier about how, you know, 95k casualties, that's quite a lot. Earlier I was at like 40k, I was like, that's a lot. I've inflicted a million on them. Well, I've inflicted 350,000, but so far, altogether, they've lost about a million men. Oh, there we go. Ah, let's see, how much was that? That was, that was 128,000 men they just lost right there. Looks like Crimea has, uh, had some issues, so I'm gonna take the entire army down there and fix that. I spent so much time designing 48 other divisions that I actually forgot to make a garrison division. The tank division isn't fully trained yet, but I, I just can't wait. Mr. Guderian here is a panzer leader, and I just gave him panzer expert, so he can lead the one tank division. I just unlocked better engines, so I can switch this to a number one Mark III engine, so now I have more thrust, so I can add more armor to it and this should be able to just obliterate anything it touches. Let's see if the tank division can make some magic happen around here. I'm thinking I take the 42 with, and I go across these provinces, cut them off from here, and then encircle all of these. So that's the grand battle plan. Let's see if it'll work. And it looks like it is kind of struggling a little bit. It's probably in really low supply right now, though. If we can cut off this province, then we'll have everything in circle. But let's start a mass infantry assault. Maybe that'll help. That was surprisingly quick. You know, I've been talking about, like, how those divisions I made earlier weren't all that great. But, like, you look here, 6,000 casualties, zero over here. And this was for a uh, for an infantry division. So it looks like they're a lot better than I gave them credit for. France has joined the Chinese United Front, and Italy has joined the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Spear. Now that is a nice looking tank. Italy has also seemed to go gone to war with the rest of my faction. 
It's really unfortunate because I do not have the troops to cover this. This is all mountains though, and a good part of this terrain is, uh, cannot walk through it. So they should be fine because it's very defensible. It is the AI though, so I don't really expect much. I try to align them and they still, they still seem to have made a mistake. Okay, they've got division on every province and we've got none. Okay, I'm gonna pull the troops out of the Soviet Union and put them all around Hungary. Because I think that's gonna be a problem here in a second. El Salvador has joined the Greater East Asian... What? You know, whatever, Romania. I'll join. I'll join all the wars. Why not? They've broken through in the mountains. That's... That is embarrassing. Imagine being... Being a guy on one Soviet destroyer. You're just cruising along and then six German battleships show up out of nowhere. Come on, Hungary. Just do it already. Just... Just do the thing. Just, just declare war. Come on. What's the worst that could happen? All right, there's a good bit of allied divisions here. So I'm going to focus the firepower back on the Soviet Union. It looks like the Russians are really pushing over here too. My Panzer Division is currently packing 600 soft attack. Let's see. Can we make this happen? Can we cut them in half? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, bad news. The one tank division has been encircled. And it's, it's struggling a little bit to break free. Um, and it's gone. I guess let's get another one out the door then. RIP. Since we are not really pushing with the ground, we might as well uh, just shred their air force while we're here. Contribute something. Look at that. 7, 6, 5, 1 to 8, 1 to 4, 1 to 7, 1 to 10. These are good trade. Look at that. Sweden has done another naval invasion. I wonder if I can push there in time to save them. All right, I'm going to try to do that. Let's concentrate the forces here. Nice, ambitious line, and let's go. Venezuela has also joined the Japanese faction. This, what is going on? They've got a port up here, so it looks like they will actually be able to hold up here. I might actually be able to link up with them. Yugoslavia seeks a queen. Why not? There's only 23 out of 24 divisions here. It appears that template number 16 has disintegrated. Let's get another one. I was trying to show a, a nice encirclement there, but, it, you know, the event spam. Sweden is just going nuts right now. I was, I was gonna move my troops over here, try to take out this area, but the Swedes are going absolutely insane. I think I might actually be able to link up with them. I'll be honest, I was kind of saying that as a joke before, but now, now I think it's actually possible. And their naval invasion down here is still alive somehow. And I think this is a port. Yeah, if they can take this, then they'll have a port. And this, this naval invasion will succeed. And it looks like they are. Oh, but they're caught up in multiple combat. That is so sad. They they could have walked in here twice, but they kept getting sucked into combat outside until they couldn't. in. The 42 width lad is back. The organization on this thing is pretty low, so I'm going to add one more motorized artillery. That'll bring it up to 30. All right, the supply situation around here is pretty bad, so I'm going to start making a few transport planes. Try and do air supply with that. Are we going to make it? It looks like we're going to make it. I just gotta walk there. Look at that. We connected with the Swedish naval invasion. This is... This is crazy. Meanwhile, the... The massive tank division I built with massive firepower is struggling a whole lot because of the weather. You know what? Just, just go over here. Just go over here. Most people tend to go down integrated support with the superior firepower doctrine. However, I'm using a lot of line artillery in my division, so I'm gonna go down to disperse support so I can get this one. Plus 10% soft attack for line artillery. Number 16 is back. It's all over for the Soviets now. All right, I think I'm done with the adventure up here. I'm gonna finish off uh, Livonia here and then I'll go over and actually, you know, finish this. There's six divisions gone. Didn't actually notice this, but uh, it looks like Hungary declared. Uh, I'll, I'll have to tank on here. It's trying to cover the entire front. Right, let's see, can you take Budapest? Nope, can't even do that. The tank division finally did something. They captured Budapest. Here, you can have a medal. Why don't you have a uh, organization? That's that's good, because they already have very poor organization. Now, I think I got something else for them to do now as well. One ambitious attack plan. Poland requests garrison support. I've got two and a half million men. I'm not going to be recruiting any more divisions. They've taken almost a million casualties, so... I'm gonna send them a whole bunch. How about 800,000? They haven't really been doing that much, just pushing with infantry, not really encircling all that much. There's like 
not a lot of divisions here that I'm seeing. Oh yeah, that's that's where they all are. They're all up here in the north taking massive amounts of attrition. I don't think I need to comment further about that. And there we go. All this is encircled. Now. Let's clean it up. Italy is currently 94% towards capitulation. This is all that's left. It's just this little sliver here. Oh my God, look at this. There's one piece here controlled by Sweden. That means that naval invasion from earlier succeeded. Dude, Sweden is an actual beast in this game. I love building railways in this game. Every time I build a railway, I just get this tiny little trickle of dopamine. We've taken Moscow and Leningrad and they're still only 62% towards capitulation. So we're gonna have to walk all the way over here because we're democratic and we can't do collaboration governments. Another pocket. Look at that, there's another one down here. I'm setting the tank down here. Maybe, maybe they can break them out. The United States has let it in Tokyo. The Chinese are pushing them back pretty well too. This is the best timeline. And that is not because of what's going on over here. It's because all the way over here, Trinidad owns a good portion of Venezuela. Japan is done with, and so is Italy. I didn't really have anything to do with this war. There's not really anything I can do. So just immediately confirm and exit. I didn't do anything in that peace conference. You saw it. And somehow we've ended up with a German Italy. R. I. P. I'll be honest, I really don't understand how the peace mechanics work in this game. So, I'm... Th th this is gonna be disgusting is what I'm gonna say, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, there we go. Let's see, what does this look like? So I try to give as much territory to Poland as humanly possible and liberate a few states while I was at it. So, we've got the Russian Federation, so Mr. Kerensky here. Uh, pretty much just consists of Siberia. In the Caucasus. Certainly not as bad as I was thinking though. And as you can see right here, and if I hover over this, we're still using every single division is still a different template. All 50 of them. We're still at war. Who are we at war with? Siam. <sighs> we're just gonna ignore that. I consider that to be pretty successful though. Defeated the Soviet Union using only two army groups. All the divisions in those army groups were different. We also built a level five railway that goes all the way from Berlin to Arkhangelsk. So if you want to see more Hearts of Iron 4 content in the future, let me know in the comments. Also consider liking the video and consider subscribing. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. That's going to be it. Bye.